Well, that was a very straightforward hunt. Um, let's go report stuff. This should report two things, I think. I don't think I reported the food thing yet, did I? Yeah, this is the food one. I was promoted true gladiator belts. Okay, so we only have the Mireille thing. Okay, what does the true gladiator belt do? Increases strength, but decreases defense. I just don't know that that's a good trade-off. You know? I like not dying. I'll think about it. I will think about it. Okay, let's make our way through all of the things. You came back from dinner to see the wrap up? I'm gonna go for a couple more minutes, but I do think it's just gonna be talking to people. Might as well start here. Cause we only have one quest left for today. So I don't want to do that and then leave all of the talking to people together. Lee, what are you doing here? Ran out of pastries at home, so I rushed over here to restock as fast as I could. How could I make such an amateur mistake? Some pastry lover I am. Who are you people? Oh, you're more of the... Um... Dancers, I think. I didn't mean to talk to you. I meant to shop. Okay, still no new newspaper article. Nothing else. Okay. You don't have any better armor for me, do you? Needle parka. Kage Maru Haori. Ooh. That's very interesting. Hmm. Comes with a toy sword. Tempting. Very tempting. Old Man Honest. His name is Honest. That's interesting. People keep saying some sort of demonic monster derailed the train. It's absolutely absurd. I've never heard something so outlandish in my entire life. Guess you're not very honest. Anyone up here? Were you? A girl. You want to see a rainbow. That requires it to stop raining. Or at least for the sun to come out while it's raining. Whatever. However rainbows work. Okay. Uh, West Street. Sure. Why not? We'll run through it in order. Yep, it is in fact still raining. Did your folks send you to buy some more bread again? Just be careful not to lose that umbrella, okay? Uh, okay, I scribbled my name and address on it, just in case. You did, huh? Good thinking, Momo. Hi, Oscar. Fun has always been the type to look out for others. Sure, she groans and complains whenever I ask for baking advice, but she still puts in the effort to teach me every time. I know it doesn't seem like it, but she really is a sweet girl. If you can just get past the tough crust... We are watching a couple in the making.
The bakery is always less busy on rainy days. Luckily, we have plenty of loyal customers who come no matter how bad the weather is. I'm grateful for them. We must be doing something right to have stayed in business this long. There you go. Momo's so late. Can't she hurry up and finish her stupid errands already? Ah, children. Is Grimm still making a constitution? Hi, you're down here now. Ah, hello there, SSS. Hello, Mr. Grimwood. We wanted to thank you for your help yesterday. The evidence you found was exactly what we needed. So I gather. Pete already briefed me, and I hear Minith is on the run now. Oh yeah, he did escape. That's definitely going to have another part to it. Hopefully we get to punch that dude in the face. I'd say that photo I provided was only one small piece of the puzzle, though. No need to sell yourself short. I put the final nail in Minith's coffin. You even went out of your way to assist us while you are still so busy helping the mayor with the constitution. Indeed. Speaking of which, it's been coming together, albeit slowly. I was actually thinking of taking a breather and brewing some coffee. Oh, should we come back later then? We wouldn't want to take up your break. That's quite all right. I've been confined to my office for so long that enjoying a conversation with all of you would be a nice change of pace. On that note, I was told you helped investigate the cause of yesterday's train derailment. This is a much longer conversation than I anticipated. That's right. We managed to get to the bottom of it. We'll have to spare you the details, but what we can share is that the cause was anything but natural. Was it now? Something wrong, Grizzly Grim? I was just thinking about how much of a relief it is that there were no fatalities. Nevertheless, I advise that you exercise caution out there. Goddess only knows how dangerous your jobs are right now. Slowly working my way through drafting the constitution, but there's still significant room for improvement. It's exhausting to write, but it's for the good of Crossbell's future, so I can hardly complain. Much the opposite, I won't settle for anything less than perfection. Good for you. Okay, you only have two talk points. I have to assemble the files detailing yesterday's incident in Armorica. If I leave it to Mr. Grimwood, who knows what important documents he'll lose in his mountain of paperwork. Again. I hear you. I'm glad we were able to resolve the case, though. Thanks again for assisting us. Oh, don't mention it. The SSS did most of the heavy lifting. Yeah, you were only almost eaten by, like, a demon dog-cat thing. It's fine. Everything is fine. Alright. Is Ilya home? We already know that Risha was not home, but we've run into pretty much all of the other troop members. Hmm. So Ilya, Risha, and Sully are still unaccounted for. Is Auntie home? Oh, I just remembered, Arkham CL's Revival production debuts tomorrow night. They sold out of tickets in the blink of an eye, I hear. To think little Elia would grow up to be such a celebrity. Little Elia? Oh yeah, she and Cecile grew up together. I guess it's no wonder you knew her when she was young, Auntie Late. That's right, Elia shone like a star even then. She and Cecile were an unlikely pair. But they got along like peas and carrots. Is that a good thing? Are peas and carrots together like a, a good thing? I hate carrots, so I wouldn't know. Why, one time Elia even socked a boy who was bullying Cecile and made him cry. That's very in character for her. Elia always has been protective of her, hasn't she? I think also Elia is just aggressive. Ouch, I bet she really let him have it. Kind of makes me feel bad for the kid. You know how boys are. Picking on a girl usually means they have a crush on them. I imagine it was more than worth it for him, though. 
now that he can tell people he was knocked flat by the Elia Platier as a boy. <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't want anyone to know about that. Elia truly was a firecracker growing up. She still is. She slapped a freaking mafia boss not that long ago. And now she's burning bright as the star of Archon Ciel instead. I can honestly say I've always been proud of her even when she was just a little girl. Oh my gosh. Oh, Elia. What an experience. Okay, that should be all of this area. Some things never change. Yeah. Elia likes to hit people. It's never gonna change. Okay, I can't go in the Bracer Guild. I need to remember that. No, no Bracer Guild. So realistically, let's just check in here. Oh, Risha, you're here. Oh, hello, everyone. It's good to see you, Risha. Did you stop by to get some lunch? Yes, I did. I was just chatting with Shan Shan here over some dessert. I forgot you guys were friends. This makes sense. You guys are with the police, right? Aw, you came right when the girl talk was heating up. Sorry to rain on your parade. I feel like I'm getting an exclusive look at the private life of Archon CL performer. Yeah, you never really know who a famous person might be friends with. Please, you're flattering me. I'm still only a rookie. If you're a rookie, then what is Sully? If it weren't for Shan Shan, I'd likely spend most of my days off sitting at home doing nothing. It helps that we're around the same age. Risha and I have gotten along since we met. And even with her proportions, it's always fun to shop for cute clothes with her. What a thing to bring up in casual conversation with the police. Your friend's proportions. It's admittedly a little hard to find cute things that fit. I suppose it is true that very few people have Risha's proportions. A problem some would kill to have. I have to say, though, you two really do seem like good friends. I suppose we are. I don't know what I'd do without Shan Shan. I had to move often when I lived in Calvar due to my father's job. I had trouble making friends because of that, so I always felt a little bit of a loner. Yeah, never would have guessed. Don't you worry, Risha. Now that we are besties, you're never going to get rid of me. Me and you will be together forever. I'll even get us matching tombstones. What? Aw, oh, thank you, Shan Shan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Feel like we're third reeling pretty hard right now. You're right. Let's leave these two to themselves. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I didn't mean to make you feel left out. Yeah, what about me? What if I also want a matching tombstone? No, not at all. It was great catching up with you, Risha. We'll see you later. Okay, be seeing you. If it was an anime. Honestly, this game, pretty close to an anime. We've already had the stereotypical beach scene. So all we're missing is a hot springs scene. That's all we're missing. Throw in some hot springs somewhere. What's the difference between this and an anime? I don't know. Hello. I see. So you've been staying here at Long Lao since before the conference. How do you find the food here? To your liking, I hope? Very. It's been a challenge not to overeat since I checked in. Sorry for calling you out here today, by the way. I feel like I should have been the one going to you. Please, don't concern yourself over it. I rather enjoy my Johnson strolls, after all. That makes me feel a little better. Freelance journalists really do get around, don't they? By the way, Nielsen. You've been here in town since a few weeks before the conference, right? I can only assume you're concerned about everything that's happening in your hometown. You would be right about that. I wanted to come and cover the events for myself. 
in anime when someone says I will never 99.999% chance of it actually happening, you're not wrong. As a matter of fact, I plan on extending my stay here a little while longer. Just like when anyone's like, oh, I hope this doesn't happen, it's, it's gonna happen. Okay, that's kind of all the people I wanted to talk to here. I guess we can talk to um, the old couple. You can never tell what might happen from one moment to the next these days. I'll have to warn Roy and Mei Ling to be extra careful when they go outside. They say that a mysterious monster was responsible for yesterday's derailment. I have to wonder if it's anything like the ones people have been spotting around the state. Dangerous incidents have been on the rise lately. You kids should be extra careful out there. Yeah. Yeah. He's not wrong. Okay, administrative district. Have I analyzed enough things to get 500 more Mira? Here you go. It looks like you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not reading this again. We know the drill. I got paid. Ha ha ha. I do have, I think, two fragments to give you. Okay, so page two of On Gnosis and page four of On Our Order. Oh. Okay. All the data on information terminal one has been successfully analyzed. Would you like to go over it now? Oh, apparently yes. Ha, huh, my name is Joaquin Gwenter, High Priest of D, therefore G. Six years ago on Order, Our Order was on the brink of extinction due to the efforts of the authorities and Razor Guild. I alone escaped danger and took refuge in this land of origin. It was the guidance of the Great D that helped me survive so I could realize the ambitions of our order. Since the time will surely come, I will record data in each of these terminals on which they shall base the new testaments. To discuss the origins of our order, I will first have to turn to the abominable history of the Zemurian continent. The Great Collapse approximately 1200 years ago marked the end of an advanced civilization, and with it, the established order, giving rise to the bloodshed and poverty of the Dark Ages. In their fatigue, the people committed a grave sin. They let themselves to be deluded by the flattery of pompous fools and accepted their invented self-centered cult with open arms. The foolish Septian Church and their symbol that goddess of the sky the Dark Ages met its demise, and this faith spread throughout the continent. Let us consider, if said goddess truly existed, can we not assume that she would bestow equal salvation upon all of us? However, disparity yet exists, and people continue to perish in disasters and misfortunes. I don't know that you can really blame the goddess for that. I think the human greed element is at play there. Does that mean said goddess discriminates upon whom she shall bestow salvation? This thought alone is too ludicrous for words. In the end, she is merely an idol, invented by the Septian Church to amass power. A goddess as such simply does not exist. Having reached that conclusion, our predecessors embarked on a long journey to find a true god. Their efforts were not in vain, for at the dawn of the Middle Ages, in the depths of this land, they found the possessor of great power in an eternal slumber. She was known as D. Kia is D? This data appears to be an entry about the cult itself, so it's true that their creed really did center around rejecting ideos. Right, that fits with what Joaquin Gwenter told us at the Sunfort. But what about this D? Do we still not know what it stands for? 
it would appear to symbolize what they believe to be the true god over Ideos. It is also known that the G in the D therefore G cult's name denotes what they referred to as true wisdom gnosis. Well, that puts to bed the question of what D therefore G actually means. If I remember correctly, Joaquin said that Kia would become the true god. Wouldn't that imply that D is another word for Kia? Does that make sense? Okay, that's interesting. Just how much did that jerk Joaquin know? There's still so many unanswered questions. Yeah, honestly, now I just have more questions than I did like a minute ago. Right, unfortunately, there were also a lot of things that Joaquin chose not to tell Ernest either. I can't help but wonder just how well we'd understand the particulars of the cult had we managed to capture him alive. Unfortunately, we didn't have someone from the Gross Ritter with us at the time, so he's dead. So be it. Regardless, I think we'll be able to learn quite a bit if we continue analyzing these information terminals. We should try using the remaining fragments to decrypt more data. Oh, I decrypted even more. Okay. Okay, so with the fragments we had, we decrypted a lot. Well, anyway, I am going to save here because I was not expecting to have that little cutscene. And that is going to be it for the day. Um, We should should be back with more on either Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know which though, but it will be either Tuesday or Wednesday. Yes, to be continued, to be continued. I'm very interested in where the story is going now, but have a good night. Bye.